Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Giant Text Portable Wash Machine. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd give you guys my two cents, just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too, I actually found a pretty good deal on this washer, and I'll put a link to that in the description, so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So I was looking at portable washers for an RV, and pretty much did weeks and weeks worth of research comparing a lot of different brands and models and kind of settled on the giant techs and i'll tell you right off the get-go i couldn't be happier with this unit i really really do like it for the money in my opinion it's the best one out there um, and i'll talk a little bit about why i say that for one it's very small for its load capacity this thing actually is really tiny but it still holds 1.6 cubic feet of clothing, whatever. It is a top load, high efficiency machine, so it uses a lot less water than standard agitator washers, which is really good for RVs because you only have so much water you can take with you. Some of the, in, just to give you an idea, like some of the other mini style agitator washers use about 16 to 25 gallons, usually more around the 20 to 25 gallon range. This uses under five gallons to do a complete load. It has a nice modern look to it. It's very simple to use. All the controls are right on the top. It's all digital. There's not a jillion buttons or anything. It's very simple, very easy to use. And it has a nice auto balancing feature too when it spins. It can actually get a pretty fast spin going so it does cut down your dry time which is really nice. One nice thing too is you can set the water level lower if you're just doing a few things so it uses even less water but it comes with everything you need to install it, all the drain lines, all the hoses, plugs into a standard 110 outlet, so you don't need any fancy electric outlets or anything like that for it. Nice and quiet, like I said, spins very quickly, and it's built very well too. Anyway, for the money, like I said, in my opinion, this is the one to get. Uh, I really, really like this thing and highly recommend it. Anyway, if you have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.